Hello, um, my name is Meredith Gregory, and I'm the, as you mentioned, I'm the Special Education and Access Coordinator at the New York Transit Museum. Our nonprofit foundation is named Friends of the New York Transit Museum, which um, is the way that we get funding for all of our programming at the museum. So the New York Transit Museum is located in a decommissioned subway station in downtown Brooklyn, and inside you can find trains from 115 years ago through today. We have turnstiles where you can practice paying your fare for the subway. We have new and old maps and other transportation um, objects in our collection. So it's the ideal learning space for the museum's program Ready to Ride, newly named uh, this fall, formerly known as Travel Training 101. It's a two-part introduction to independent subway travel in the safe environment of our subway station museum and is offered for sixth graders through adults with autism. The Ready to Ride program has seen exciting changes within the past year, all thanks to the Flutie Foundation and their generous support. We have built two new partnerships, one with an organization named Birch Family Services um, that serves adults with disabilities, and one partnership with Cook Center Academy, a school that serves teens with disabilities, and they also focus on life skills in their classroom. Through these partnerships, we are able to have a deeper engagement with the autism community and include parents in the process as well, which is a big part of uh, travel training. Uh, when you're teaching your child to ride the subway, you know, the parents need to have that involvement as well, not just the teachers. So with, that partner, with those partnerships, we have family celebrations where parents get to come to the museum we take the entire family on a real subway ride in the New York City system, and they come back to the museum for a, a party afterwards. And this is after the participants have already been in the program. So it's a really nice way to show the parents the skills that these students have learned. We've also created post-visit materials for um, just the uh, groups that come for the two-part visit. And these are for teachers so that they're able to practice these skills back in the classroom when the program ends. Here's a video that will give you insight into the museum and the Ready to Ride program. And again, thank you so much, Flutie, for your support. We couldn't do it without you. Really, the subway is the way that you get from A to B in New York City. Oftentimes, there are problems um, that occur on the subway, and you're mingling with strangers at a very close proximity. It's a very dynamic system. Things are always going wrong. Most of the things are things we take for granted that we do every day in everyday life. And for a child with autism, it's not that ordinary. We're an old subway station from 1936. It became a museum in 1976. Our travel training program um, is for middle schoolers through adults um, who have developmental or intellectual disabilities. And they're coming here and they're learning about the first steps of subway travel. Okay, I'm out of the metro card. Sure, here you go. They'll learn about how to buy a metro card and how to swipe a metro card and what if someone is coming through the turnstiles as you're trying to get in and they're trying to get out, what do you do in those situations? So we throw in a lot of social situations as well. Sometimes it's more comfortable for me to lean against the pole like this, but it's, it's better for everyone to have a room we learn about how to do the right thing in a train. We learn about how to, to not put it, the, your book back right here, and we put it right here so nobody will take it. To the, the sixth train. When, what stop is that? On to college. On to college, right. This is a great opportunity for our program, for travel training itself to introduce these skills in a more quiet and controlled environment. Eventually, the goal is for them to be independent and to travel independently throughout the system. And I think that's really important, uh, the fact that what they learn here, they can take and use those skills every day. Thank you. If, if you'd like... If you'd like to learn more about this program and our other autism programs, um, please visit our website, nytransitmuseum.org. And thank you so much for having me again, Flutie. Appreciate it. Have a good day.